In this problem, we are asked to factor the expression 3x squared minus 12. Well, the first thing you should notice about this problem is how many terms are there. Here's my first term. Here's my second term. There are only two terms. Now, one thing that we can do to factor two terms is using the difference of two squares. But is this the difference of two squares? So let's look at the rules for factoring the difference of two squares. And as you can see, there have to be two terms. Yes, we definitely have two terms here. There has to be a minus sign between the two terms. Do we have a minus sign between the two terms? Yes. And the last thing we have to have is both terms have to be perfect squares. Well, in this case is 3 and 12. Are they both perfect squares? Well, looking at our table over here, this is the column where we have all our perfect squares. I definitely do not see a 3. There's no 3 here and there's no 12 here. So at this point, you might think I can't factor using the difference of two squares. But before we even consider the difference of two squares, the first thing you should always look at with any expression you're trying to factor is, is there a greatest common factor? Well, if you look, we have a 3 and a 12. They're both divisible by 3. So the first thing we have to do in factoring this problem is factor a 3 out. And once I factored the 3 out, I get left with x squared minus 3 goes into 12 four times. So now I have 3 times x squared minus 4. Now let's look at our remaining expression here. Is x squared minus 4 the difference of two squares? Well, there are definitely two terms that have a minus sign between them and are both terms perfect squares. Well, what number is in front of the x squared? It's a 1. Is 1 a perfect square? Yes, it's 1 squared. And 4, is 4 a perfect square? Yes, it's 2 squared. So now I can factor this remaining binomial here. I leave the 3 in front. And what does it leave me? I have to have two binomials. I take the square root of x squared, which gives me x as my first term. The square root of 4 is 2. And I have, have to have opposite signs in them. Does it matter which one comes first? No, this time I feel like putting a plus in the first parentheses and a minus in the second. So I have now managed to factor this problem by first of all taking out the common factor and then using the difference of two squares. Don't forget, if you need to, you can always check it by foiling out your answer.